Hi everybody, Fran here at New Testament Explained. This video is going to explore Rudolf Bultmann and in particular what he has to say about demythologizing the Bible. This, as always, aligns with Edexcel A-level religious studies. In terms of Rudolf Bultmann's background, he spent most of his career lecturing in Germany. During the Second World War, like Karl Barth, he was a member of the Confessing Church that opposed Nazism. After World War II, Bultmann became internationally famous, doing lecture tours and publishing influential books. Bultmann was ultimately trying to make sense of the modern world. He wanted to rescue liberal Christian theology, as he believed the charisma still had meaning for Christians in the modern world. Ultimately, Bultmann is a deeply influential figure in liberal Christian theology. In terms of what Bultmann believes then, he believes that Jesus and early Christians had a mythological world view, and that contained beliefs such as the following. The world had three stories, a belief in supernatural powers such as miracles, beliefs in the devil, Satan, and evil as the cause of disease and that the world would come to the end through an apocalypse. Bultmann says that modern people, by contrast, have a scientific worldview. So we look for naturalistic explanations, such as of disease, rather than supernatural. What Bultmann says in relation to these different worldviews is that the Bible doesn't just contain mythological material, it also contains philosophical teachings that a modern audience with a scientific worldview can accept. Importantly, Rudolf Bultmann was influenced by existentialism which is a philosophy that sees humans thrown into the world as free agents where God does not intervene and there is no afterlife. Humans are self-aware of concepts such as death, but this sort of existence is confusing and frightening. And as a result, we attach ourselves to things in life that we have not chosen, such as our family, our age. Now, Bultmann believes this sort of life is inauthentic. Bultmann develops this idea by saying that humanity cutting off from the mythological world has made us more distressed. Scientific thinking teaches us to expect control, but we cannot control everything. And this leaves people feeling trapped with a sense of sorrow, with a sense of anxiety. Bultmann is not all doom and gloom, though. He believes there is an answer to this issue. He believes the New Testament describes a programme for living authentically and therefore the word of God offers a solution to modern life. Our question at this point should be, how do we engage with the New Testament so that it offers a solution for modern living? Boltman would remind us at this point that early in Christian writers created myths about Jesus so that others could understand his charisma, his message. That's a problem for us as a modern audience because we have a scientific worldview and therefore we don't understand the myths. For example, we might take them literally or we might dismiss them altogether. Therefore, what we need to do to engage with the New Testament and to interpret the New Testament is we need to demythologize it by focusing on the meaning behind the myths. And the meaning behind the myths is the charisma, the message. The charisma is not just ethics, but an entire way of life. And it's once we get to that, that the New Testament offers a solution for modern living. That ends my video on Rudolf Bultmann and demythologizing the Bible. Thank you for watching and as always, make sure to subscribe if you haven't already.